I'm Anna Huntington. My book is The Great Gilly Hopkins by Katherine Patterson. I'm going to read to you from the first chapter. Welcome to Thompson Park. Gilly, said Miss Ellis, with a shake of her long blonde hair toward the passenger in the back seat, I need to feel that you are willing to make some effort. Galadriel Hopkins shifted her bulk gum to the front of her mouth and began to blow gently. She blew until she could barely see the shape of the social worker's head through the pink bubble. This will be your third home in less than three years. Miss Ellis swept her golden head left to right and then began to turn the wheel in a cautious maneuver to the left. I would be the last person to say that it was all your fault. The Dixons moved to Florida, for example. Just one of those unfortunate things. And Mrs. Richardson having to go into the hospital. It seemed to Gilly that there was a long, thoughtful pause before the caseworker went on for her nerves. Pop! Miss Alice flinched and glanced in the rearview mirror, but continued to talk in her calm, professional voice while Gilly picked at the bits of gum stuck in her straggly bangs and on her cheeks and her chin. We should have been more alert to her condition before placing any foster, foster child there. I should have been more alert. Cripes, thought Gilly. The woman was getting sincere. What a pain. I'm not trying to blame you, Gilly. It's just that I need, well, we all need your cooperation in any of the arrangements that are being made for you and in order for them to work out. Another pause. I can't imagine you enjoy all this moving around. The blue eyes in the mirror were checking out Gilly's response. Now, this new foster mother is very different from Mrs. Nevins. Gilly calmly pinched a blob of gum off the end of her nose. There was no use trying to get the gum out of her hair. She sat back and tried to chew the bit she had managed to salvage. It stuck to her teeth in a thin layer. She fished around another ball of gum from her jeans pocket and scraped the lint off with her thumbnail before elaborately popping it into her mouth. Will you do me a favor, Gilly? Try to get off on the right foot. Gilly had a vision of herself sailing around the living room of the foster home on her right foot like an ice skater. With her uplifted left foot, she was shoving the next foster mother square in the mouth. She smacked her new supply of gum in satisfaction. Do me another favor, will you? Get rid of that bubble gum before we get there. 